In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a registration form, as you can see right here. Uh, you can type your name and your email and password. Uh, we will not look into the back end, we will cover the front end and how to build a component for it. So let's get started. So I just started with a fresh uh, React Native app installation and I'm using the Create React Native app to uh, install the app and also I'm using the Expo to develop the app. But let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the default React code. We can leave the container here because we're gonna use it later. Let's delete all the style sheets in the container. And we're going to create a new folder named app. And inside app folder, we're going to create a new folder named components. And in this folder, we're going to keep all the components we create. And we do components because we don't want to write all the code here. We want to be just able to include components from the components folder. That way we can keep uh, our code much more clean. So let's start by creating a new file in the component folder. We can just copy this from the app.js, paste it here. And let's name this one rig form. And we can keep the view here as well. We just give it a style of rig form. And we can create that style later. Now let's see, we're gonna use these components. It's gonna sort this up a little bit better. So we use style sheet right there for the style sheet. And we use text to be able to write text in the app and the view for creating views. We will also need text input to be able to create text inputs, of course, and also touchable opacity. To create buttons so then that's ready we can save the file as regform.js and we can just try it. let me change the syntax here to Babel it's much more easier to see the syntax or we can test uh, write some text here testing And now let's create the reg form component we just created. Import reg form from app slash components slash reg form. And uh, let's see if we can display this component inside our main container. So yes, double top tap R to reload if you're using the Android emulator. It's a little bit slow, but it works. Yeah, you can see the text under the bar. Since I'm using Expo, Expo creates this uh, bar you can see here. So the text is behind. Anyway, let's start by designing uh, some stuff for the app. We can start with uh, creating uh, some styles for the container. And this main container, this will take up the entire space of the app. And we can set the background color and such. We'll give it a flex one, full width, full height. Uh, justify content, we can set that to center. This way, uh, all content will be centered vertical. And we can create background color, uh, some good hex color for that uh, 48 uh, and uh, we're gonna add some padding to a container because we want, don't want the form to take up the entire space from left to right so let's add padding left 60 and padding right 60 let's add small i there we go Let's see if we got any changes. Yeah. 
Nope, something wrong. I'm sorry. Justify content. Ah, oh, I, I wrote justifies. Of course. Justify content. Now. Double top R. R. Let's see if it works. Yeah, there we go. So now we're ready to start developing the recording the reg form component. And this component, of course, will uh, hold the entire registration form. So let's start by making the reg form view full width. We can do by, this by align cell. And we can have Let's add a header here. Uh, we can give it the style of header. Uh, we can call this registration. So now let's style the header. You can add any values you want here, just play along with it. Uh, Let's give it a white color. Add some padding to the bottom. Add some margin to the bottom. And set a border in the bottom. And a color for that. And border bottom width. I set it to one. So let's check out how the header looks. Yeah, this will be your header. Next, we're gonna create the actual text inputs where you can write name and password and email and such. Uh, so let's do it by using this. Text input, which we included earlier, and give it a style of style start. We can call it text input, it's easy to find. Uh, we can set a placeholder for it. Let's say your name. And also, now if you're using the Android emulator, you want to do this underline color Android. And set it to uh, transparent. If you're using iOS emulator or developing directly on your iPhone, I don't think you need it. But on Android, it adds this ugly border bottom color, which we're gonna add ourselves instead of using the default one. So there we go. Let's style the text input. Text input. Uh, let's make it full width by line self as we did earlier. Stretch. Mm, give it a height of 40. Uh, margin bottom would use 30 because we use more text inputs below this one. Um, color can be white. And also, let's create a border bottom. Let's use F8 as the color. And uh, also a border bottom width. Let's use one for this one too. And now we should have a border under the text input if everything works okay. Yes, you can see now I have this border. Also, you can click on it now. And you will get up the keyboard and you can type whatever you want. Now let's create the same thing for the email. Your email. And it's going to use the same style text input. We used it for all text inputs in this component. And also, let's create the password. And the password has something extra. It has to be 
uh, secure. So we're going to use uh, secure text entry. And with secure, I mean so you can't see what you're typing in the password. Uh, let's set it to true. And now if you type in the password, it's going to be... Uh, uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna not gonna show the letters. So let's reload. Double tap error. Tap error. Let's see. And there we go. Next thing we're gonna do is we wanna add uh, the touchable uh, opacity component, which is a button. And this will be our submit button. Uh, let's add a style for it. Style start. Uh, encode button. Uh, like that and inside the button we want some kind of text so let's uh, create a text inside the button we can give this style sheet of button text and just type sign up <clears throat> now let's create the um, style for, for the button uh, full weight align self stretch and align items this will center the text inside the button we can give it some padding to make it look better and uh, background color we set it to 9c And also, let's add some margin top to it. Let's see if we got the button. It's going to reload the emulator. Yeah, we can see the button now. Uh, it got black text. It doesn't look very good, so we're going to add instead uh, some styles for the button text. Uh, we can set a color to white. And let's put some font weight bold in it to make it look a little better. Let's reload. And there you go. Now you got the registration form ready. You can type as you can see name and email and password. And that's basically all you need to know to create a registration for component for the front end. As I said earlier, we will not cover the back end for this tutorial. Uh, maybe in another tutorial. Thank you. Bye.